What's the almighty motherfucking deal, baby? It is Friday, July 16th, 2021. Happy C day to one of my favorite cousins, Booby. Boys finally joined the 30 Club. You know what I'm talking about? Blessed to be alive. He also overseas. So y'all please pray for him. My nigga in the military, he went to go do him a year real quick, run up that check. Can't blame him. Can't blame him. So today, what are you worth? I'm going to tell you something. I came to just the strong ass realization that I am motherfucking struggling. Here's the thing. Now, the cool thing is, it's the first time in my black ass life that like all my bills are on auto pay. You know what I'm saying? Mainly because, you know, I know what's coming in. I know what's going out. The sad part is, like, I know what my check is going to be every fucking week, and that shit is gay. And now, how I figured out I was still struggling, I said, I thought was shit like, bro, I'm basically living off these credit cards again, but not super in debt. You know, <laughs> with this time, you know, so I'm just racking up these points. And this cash back like a motherfucker. You know what I'm saying? And like as soon as the money hit, you know what I'm saying? I just pay the shit off not going by life. But it's like the fact that I'm aware of, okay, this cycle is happening again. And then I'm talking like, you know, me not having the financial freedom to just be like, you know what? I feel like just getting up and going to go eat here. Or I feel like going to go get a motherfucking smoothie or a couple of these bitches. You know what I'm saying? Or like me wanting to go buy some shoes to paint. You know what I'm saying? And then, you know, make an outfit. You, you dig what I'm saying? I don't have as much flexing room as I should. You know what I'm saying? And even when it comes down to savings, like I might save four hundred, five hundred dollars a month, you know what I'm saying? But like that ain't enough. You know, the minimum might be like two hundred. Like that ain't shit. Another thing is after, you know what I'm saying, taxes and goddamn after taxes, after child support, after motherfucking insurance. After old puss ass, that girl was kind of cute. <laughs> After old puss ass 401k, you know, so I'm going to make a move with that bitch whenever I quit this whole, you know what I'm saying? I'm just like, and on top of that, I'm selling 50 hours of my life a goddamn week just to get 500 something dollars. Now, I make $14 an hour, which ain't worth a fuck. And it's like, when you think about that check, nigga, I might as well still be working for 10 or some change. Like, this is some bullshit. Like, bro, I don't work no more Saturdays. I used to work Saturdays, and that's just to rack up some money, you know, in order for me to get to my, uh, in order for me to get my place. But since I went, since I got my place, I slowed down on that bullshit significantly. You know, I'm grateful and shit, but it's like, I just know that I'm fucking worth more. And like, that strong ass realization that, like, I'm in this hot ass motherfucking warehouse sweating like a motherfucker. I'm talking about just unnecessarily piss me off. And I'm like, you doing all this shit for $5 a week. Like, what you gonna do, fool? Like, you know, so I am very grateful that like, yo, I wanna thank y'all publicly. All you motherfuckers who, ever since I opened up that shop in, in April, I sell a shirt or a couple shirts, you know what I'm saying, every month. I am very grateful, but man, like that money has to be reinvested right back into it. So I really can't even touch that other, like, you know what I'm saying, buying some sample orders. And you know what I'm saying, keep it playing, which I ain't going that hard, you know, with my creativity because, like, man, I don't want to whore my talent. I'm not with that bullshit. Like, I got my own vision for this brand and what I'm doing. And I know that, like, that's a seed that has been planted, and that thing has to be uh, nature, nature. <laughs> that, <laughs> that seed has to be nurtured, and that shit's going to take time. But where I'm at right now, where I'm currently employed, I'm not fucking with that shit, man. Come, I think the 27th of this month, you know what I'm saying, that'll be a year I've been there. But, you know, in between that year where I had to give myself some graces, like, you know, boys went to jail. You know so I stayed with one of my brothers for like eight, nine months. Shout out to Thad. You know what I'm saying? You know, eventually I got my own place. But, you know, I've been here a year in September. So, like, what the fuck have I been doing? And, like, I know what I've been doing and what I haven't been doing. It's like... I'm over this shit. That's why boys is making the plays that, you know, that we making. And, like, nah, man. Like, I said all that shit to say to you, because I know a lot of y'all around this bitch living check to check, barely scraping by month after month. Man, invest in the knowledge. Education comes before compensation, my nigga. 
you have to step outside your comfort zone and put yourself in different rooms and talk a different talk, man. You, you got to be okay that you a motherfucking, you speaking Japanese to a bunch of Russians. And I ain't gonna lie to you, man. I struggle with this shit every day, dog. I miss my partners. I did, like, I'm the type of motherfucker, I, I realized that, uh, you know, so I genuinely love people because, like, let me tell you something, dog. You know, I grew up by myself. I'm the baby of my family. There wasn't no motherfucking siblings I could play with. So I do cherish my friends to a certain extent, but I'm also aware of, like, you know, where their limitations are at in their mind. And I understand when I come here talking Rolls Royce talking, you know, having, having a bunch, having a goddamn 1950s, you know what I'm saying, Fleetwood Cadillac on swingers, you know what I'm saying? Boys can't really comprehend that shit because they ain't really did the work to escape their motherfucking programming. And so, you know what I'm saying? And also, too, man, is some of my partners have even shitted on the fact that this nigga want to be an artist. I ain't forgot that shit, man. I forgave the motherfucker, but like, I ain't forgot that, like, man, y'all don't really rock with me like how I thought. You know what I'm saying? I show too much love around this bitch to get a subpar return on my investment. Not that anybody owe me a motherfucking thing because you don't. But just like, this is why, you know, I'm in my mind, I'm going to be reclusive than a motherfucker this year. And just like really buckle down and really just do what the fuck I need to do. And like, I ain't gonna lie, that shit has been freeing because I'm not sitting here listening to it. Ain't nobody's opinion is poisoning, you know what I'm saying, what the fuck I'm trying to do because they're not doing the shit that I'm trying to do. And I don't wanna live like that. So I said, I, I say this to you as well stop listening to motherfuckers who ain't did shit and who ain't doing what the fuck you trying to do. You have to put yourself in rooms and conversations and, and live streams or whatever of motherfuckers talking that shit that you need to motherfucking hear that cranks you up and gets you off your ass and makes you go and get what the fuck you deserve. Man, fuck that motherfucking job. Be grateful now. But man, your money is a tool. Stop using that shit to buy pussy, buy motherfucking weed, hell, buy a bunch of motherfucking smoothies, buying clothes, and all that useless ass shit. Cause nigga, you not getting a positive ROI, which is a return on your investment. You wasting your motherfucking money and you selling your fucking time. And that's some shit you can't get back. That's why, man, my nigga, next month I took off every motherfucking Friday and I got a week vacation. Because I'm finna figure this shit out. I'm finna figure out this art shit. And I'm finna figure out my next business ventures. I ain't bullshitting, man. You know, and I understand, you know, food is did talking this shit and maneuvering in the engine is lonely than a motherfucker. You know, so I feel more alone now, you know, here. And I'm surrounded by nothing but my family. Now I was when I was in Houston, man. That says a fucking lot. That says a whole lot. And I know some motherfucker, someone would be like, well, you're choosing to be lonely because y'all ain't talking about shit. If y'all was talking about something, nigga, I don't, I don't fucking entertain small-minded ass conversation, nigga. We 30, nigga. And a lot of y'all got more kids than you got fingers and toes, man. I got one, and that shit bothered me every day that I ain't really got him in place like he need to be. The, the best thing I fucking did was put that life insurance policy on me. 500 motherfucking K. I only paid 36 30 a month. I'm going to make a video about that. I'm sorry I've been bullshitting. I'm going to make a video about that shit, my nigga, and tell you what I did. I still got to write my wheel and go get that whole notarized. You know what I'm saying? That's about the only play I really, that's about the only thing I really got in place with. But, like, he deserves more. And that ain't going to be the only motherfucking kid I'm going to have. So I got to I got to make these moves, my nigga. I, I got to, you know what I'm saying, put myself under this pressure and make this shit happen. And ain't nobody going to fucking do that shit for me. You know what I'm saying? Don't nobody give a fuck about these rich nigga problems I'm talking about. You know? But man, that's it. Go and get what the mother... Go <laughs> go and get what the fuck you are worth. Stop bullshitting. Stop listening to... to you know, a, a wolf don't listen to, listen to the motherfucking opinion of sheep. Most of these people are goddamn sheep waiting to be fucking slaughtered. You need to <laughs> you need to tap into that wolf. You need to tap into that motherfucking killer. To be alive is to be a killer. All right? So you better go and get what the fuck is yours while you waiting on somebody to send you another motherfucking stimulus check. Fuck that shit. Well, you can have stimulus check money every motherfucking day. It's possible. But what are you willing to learn? What are you willing to sacrifice? What are you willing to invest in? Bet on yourself, my nigga. Bet on you. That's all I got to say. I should be talking this shit to y'all all day. It's Mental Health Fridays, bitch. You know what I'm saying? Men need to tap in. We're going to be doing our thing and talking that shit and getting shit off our chest like how I just did. You know, I didn't think I was going to be that motherfucking passionate about that shit just did, but oh, fuck. And don't forget to buy a t-shirt, bitch, man. I got some old designs coming. I've been bullshitting, and, you know, life, nigga. Like, life, but, you know, I'm getting this shit together. Buy your t-shirt, bitch, www.syrupinc.com. Once again, that is www.syrup.com. I hope this video helps. 
Have a great black ass day. I love each and every one of you black motherfuckers. Go out here and be fucking awesome.